Deciding to work on something cute that has nothing hiding in its cutout shadows, no sinister workings to its mechanics or dehumanizing subtext, can often feel inauthentic. A product meant for play, the ultimate artistic betrayal. Fruity Pies is a game about cultivating fruit from a magical tree, then taking said fruit inside your home and baking it into a personal pie of relative size. That's it. Fruity Pies was made for a game by its cover, a game jam where every year developers create original games inspired by artwork created for the My Famicase exhibition. A completely unrelated art jam where artists create fantasy Super Famicom cartridge artwork. Fruity Pie's concept is specifically inspired by Poonamelt's Fruit Catch Famicart. On it, a woman trounces through grass after floating fruit with her fashionable dog. The fruit, may I point out, are absolutely perfect. I needed to change the character to be more of a person I could relate to. And nothing against cute ochre pups, but I want a wolf. He's all black, like a silhouette, and he's got a big wolf butt for wide audience appeal. With this in mind, I needed the game to be small, one screen small, something like a Mario Party game for one person. Also, why are we catching the fruit? Well, for a pie. What else is fruit for? Fruit sucks. It's perfect. I bet a lot of people stop here. You have a working-ish concept that isn't very fun to play and a million ideas on how to get to your goal. Well, let me tell you, it doesn't get much easier from here. I got really lucky this summer. My partner and I were able to go on a hiking trip with two of our close friends for a night. Getting out of the city and just smelling trees, counting mushrooms, watching people through the underbrush, nothing beats it. It reminded me of the nice young Charlie times at the family log cabin up in Weir. The swampy, mossy earth covered in ferns and blistering mushrooms, that musty, wet cabin water. Capturing this mossy log cabin feeling was essential. Yes, all I could think about while we were deep in nature's bosom was how I would distill this experience into my work. For the entire forest scene, these are the models I used. I tried learning how to use the same material for multiple textured models for some of the background elements, and I'm happy to say it just requires a bit of patience and planning. Like a lot of other games I've been making lately, all of the player and fruit sounds are made using synthesizers. Here are the witch's footsteps. The fruit. And the basket. What's nice about using synth for gameplay sounds, or even as sweeteners, is instead of using an EQ to bring out brilliance or bass, you can create those frequencies from the actual source. This means clearer audio that can cut through some natural or acoustic sounding tones like music or an ambient recording. When your sound designer is working on the sounds for your game, they will carve out sections of the frequency range for different elements of gameplay. Maybe I should make a video about how to do that. Initially, the sound of the fruit falling was meant to be replaced, but the more I tested the game and refined the arc of the fruit, the more I fell in love with this weird squeaky loop. It's the start of a pad synth that I exported as a short clip on a uh, purpose. The ambient loops are taken from different parts of eastern Canada, Gaspésie, Quebec, Shippigan, New Brunswick, and Alexandria, Ontario. These were recorded while working on short films. I don't know if this is interesting or not, but it is nice to just sit and listen to them sometimes, knowing where they are from and what those places looked and sounded like. These ambient tracks fade between each other as you make your way around the level, but unfortunately, you can only hear them when no music is playing. I wanted the music to be whimsical, but still dancey. 
I didn't go in with too much of a plan. It was more about building around the main melody and seeing where it took me. Apparently, it brought me straight to heaven. The street chimes harmonize with the music, coming in and out of dissonance as your streak gets higher. I ended up making 23 unique chimes, with the last handful alternating between each other randomly for players with higher streaks. Streaks! Initially, I planned to create a unique level up sound, but the piercing sound of all the fruit bursting out of the tree on higher levels was oddly satisfying, giving players an increasingly gratifying flurry of squealing fruit. As the jam drew to a close, I threw together the ending cutscenes and windscreen UI. I made a point to spend the last week just trying to finish what I had. No new additions or changes. Most of my time working on the game was spent figuring out how to get the witch and camera to move in the way I felt was natural, and I was honestly pretty tired of the project at this point. This would have to do for now. When I showed an early screenshot to a friend, they remarked that it reminded them of the first game I made. Out of Juice uh, for ad an adventure game studio monthly jam. I made Out of Juice in 2015 and it was not easy. Out of Juice was not the kind of game I ever saw myself making, but it opened up a lot of AGS to me so I could imagine future projects. I feel very similarly about Godot right now. I hope Fruity Pies is a good chill time for people. There's not much more to it than that. I have a small update planned for the near future, but in the meantime, if you'd like to try it out, you can go to defomort.itch.io slash fruitypies. Thanks for watching and good luck with your life. Anyone else have this problem? You finish working on a project, put it up, sigh, and try to finish your day. You're lying in bed and a thought pushes its way to the front of your mind. You didn't make that game. That wasn't a new idea. It's not a new thought. It's been pestering you since you started the project. Didn't you see someone else making this exact game? You try to sleep. The next day, instead of posting the game or working out some of the leftover bugs, you begin scrolling through your Twitter likes, trying to see if you can find where you saw that particle effect for the sugar powder. Was that a game about making pies too? You scroll back two years, nothing. You mustn't have liked it. Even finishing the game cover art, I saw it in my mind before I drew it. Did I see it before I thought of it?